June 1st, Raj. Saudi Arabia. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Raymond Ford, Nick Ball. Coming off of probably the most legendary performance of this last decade. That was some 70s, 80s shit. You know what I mean? Right, right. Movie of the week. Right, right, right. What can we expect with Nick Ball? I mean, you know, I think, I think with that last fight, um, that just took Ray Fred to another level. I mean, even with him, you know, his mentality is different. Um, you know, like I always was telling people before, man, the dog, sometimes we got to stop Ray from being a dog. I mean, um, but moving forward, that, that next fight, man, it's going to be, it's going to be a great fight. It's, it's going to be epic, man. Just watching. It's, it's, the performance is going to be, it's going to be electrifying. It seems to me that boxing is very episodic. Right? right? So they're high on Ray one minute, then the next minute, you know, Ray got a, a so-called robbery and he can't handle pressure fighters to now being everybody's darling after knocking somebody out and, you know, seven seconds being down on the cards. How do you, like, deal with the ebbs and flows? I mean, you know, you just, just, sometimes you can let it go in one end out the other. Sometimes you just, you know, just don't pay attention to it at all. I mean, it don't bother us for it. You know what I mean? Because fans will be fans. They're going to be there for you one minute, the next minute they're not. So, you know, fans going to be fans. You know, Nick Ball, people feel like he got robbed against Ray Vargas. Came on late, hurt Ray a couple of times. Right. This should be for unification, right? Are you still going to approach it like it's, it's as big of a fight? Or is it just business as usual? No, we're going to approach it as, as it would if we were to, you know, uh, get a unification about it. So that's how we're going to come in. You know, we don't never overlook anybody. And I mean, as I said before, even with the Ultimate fight, he was just better than what we thought, but we never overlooked him. We never, you know, was looking forward to the next fight. No, we just focused on him. Stylistically, Nick Ball... Like, you don't really see too many guys 5'2", five, 5'3", five, with that style. Like, is, is it going to be tough preparing for that, finding sparring partners to prepare for that? 5'2". Uh, you know, if somebody got any, like, two-year-old sons at 5'2", that we can spar, you know, bring them to the gym. And we need them. But, no, um, no, it's, 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 it's damn difficult finding them for that. Five two, man. You know what I mean, but, I mean, you know, there's a way, there's a way. We find them. All right, this is gonna be a little bit more personal, but um, you, Islam is your faith. What does it mean to you to actually go over to Saudi Arabia and to be able to perform? Oh man, it means a lot. I'm going to an Islamic country. Um, it means, it means a whole lot. I mean, especially the fact that I've never been there. You know what I mean? So, um, it's just a beautiful thing for me, man. I'm looking forward to it. Bucket list? Oh, 100%. 100%.